Welcome back to the show. Look, we've all heard our politicians telling us the importance of balancing the federal budget and achieving surpluses, but they rarely tell us why. Lance Turnbull explains. Today, we're going to learn about surpluses in the federal budget. A budget surplus is when the government's revenue from taxes exceeds the very same government's expenditure on public goods and services. And that's why having a surplus in the federal budget is important. Because if we don't have a surplus, then we won't have one. And then, we, well, let's let ex-treasurer and current embarrassment of Australia to the United States, ambassador of Australia to the United States, Joe Hockey, explain. You've got to try and help those people most vulnerable. You can only do it by having a surplus and having excess capacity to help those most vulnerable in the community. Thanks, Joe. You see, the way to assist the most vulnerable in our society is to make sure that the government has enough money to spend on the services that help them. And the way to make sure that the government has enough money to spend on those services is to cut government funding to services, such as the ones that help the most vulnerable in our society. And then also cut taxes on the wealthiest individuals and businesses. At this upcoming federal election, who can you trust to deliver a budget surplus for you and your small business and your family? The Liberal Party have a strong plan for budget repair that hinges entirely on pretending that they can count on cuts to services that the Senate will never pass. And slashing the government's revenue by giving out tax cuts because business, innovation, something, something, jobs and growth. Labor, on the other hand, plan to say that they have a plan to get the budget back to surplus, but then not tell anybody how they're going to do that because Tony Abbott didn't do it until right before polling day at the last election and please stop asking, it's not fair. To find out more about budget surpluses and fiscal responsibility, we have expert on budgeting and saving, Valdenax the Immolator Goldstein. Valdenax, thanks for being here. I'm pleased to be here, Lance. Many have tried and failed to understand the way that the budget works, and the only point of reference which seems to make sense of government budgets, surpluses and deficits is our normal household budgets. But that's not right, is it? Surely it's more complicated than that. I've managed to maintain a very long and rewarding life with the gold which came to me by the folly of mortals. And I would argue that a federal budget is in fact a lot like dragon gold, or indeed a household budget. Tax and revenue are just like income from your job. Then you have your expenses such as roads, hospitals, millions of dollars on unnecessary plebiscites, which is like the shopping, school fees, upkeep on your complex network of caves full of the ancient gold of dead men. I see. It's really coming together in my mind now. Yes. And like any other household, the government has control over the manufacture and distribution of the currency which it spends. Goes without saying, but thanks for saying it. So when it looks like you're going to run out of money to spend on necessities, education, groceries, enchanted gems to ward off adventurers and thieves, Australian householders can simply ask their household mint to authorise the creation of more money, which is like credit card debt. Well, that's just Economics 101. Ah, correct. The trick, which I'm sure most Australians already understand, is to not make so much money that the currency devalues, because that causes problems for other areas of the economy. Inflation, right? This is where it all gets a bit complicated for me. Ah, uh, think of it this way. I have gold, but because gold is so rare and sweet, not everyone can have it as much as I. Because the acquisition of gold is so important... Why is it important? Well, that's... It just self-evidently is. Look, if you need a reason, it's important to stockpile gold for times when there is less gold. A budget surplus can keep an economy moving in a rocky economic climate, much like in the case of household savings for emergencies, or extra baubles and trinkets for a nasty intruder to steal my precious shredder. Ah! Well, that makes sense to me. Valdenax, the Immolator Goldstein, thanks for joining me. It has been my pleasure. And that's why budget surpluses.